Time to play with some clay. Well, hello. Uh, this is a, a review of this particular instructional video that I posted here. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a short review of uh, the video uh, that what's on the video that's located at Vimo. At the end of this video, I will show you how to purchase a video. Well, there's a definite difference between a male and a female skull. If we're going to start a sculpture of a male and a female head, um, I got these from sculpture. Uh, actually uh, anatomytools.com uh, they're not very big but they show a definite difference uh, he's got more of a uh, protrusion in the front of his uh, uh, upper Work out the uh, positioning of his area. head and, and it all depends on what I do as far as the sculpture goes um, the nice thing about the armature I made is I can change the angle of the head any way I want to and not damage the uh, armature. Um, I really give you a lot of information in this video. It's about a two, uh, three hour and 24 minute video. Um, it covers both uh, creating the male and the female uh, bust and here's the uh, male bust being started here. I show you how to, I had a lot of fun creating a character in both these figures uh, and combining the uh, two of them I I eventually came up with an idea for the title of the piece which was uh, the widow and the widower and they were a couple who were on a wagon train and uh, both lost their spouses and they found each other um, I'm building the character and the strength of the uh, neck uh, with the uh, blocking in muscles and by positioning his head uh, towards where she's going to be eventually on the uh, See how the, that the design of the order, piece. I, uh, I also show that uh, by I made even moving his head and wrinkly. neck, it created wrinkles in the clay, which was kind of a uh, you know a bonus. I uh, here I'm adding uh, whiskers or chin whiskers to him, and that was a typical thing for pioneer men back then to have chin whiskers. Uh, Brigham Young had them. And uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln had chin whiskers. And it was a kind of a fashion, I guess, back in the uh, early um, and mid 1800s. Here I'm starting the female and uh, starting to create her face, like I did the male, uh, making it differently because uh, you want it to look like a female, not a male. Uh, I, I give you all the. Uh, uh, proportions for adding the ears because you don't want the ears too big and you don't want them too small also you want to make the female a little smaller than the male because males tend to be a little bit bigger and taller than uh, females not always but usually here I show you how to make a hat uh, I, I know it sounds like it might be simple to do but it really isn't uh, I came up with an idea of how to do this so that uh, it casts easy in bronze and you can form your brim which I'm working on right now and have it uh, keep its shape and also working on the crown to make it fit the head of the uh, figure that's the hat's going on male or female here I'm just uh, creating additional armature for the arm uh, and uh, I show you how to do that this is a final I'm just putting some final touches in uh, the beard of the uh, gentlemen as you can see i've combined them both in kind of a comforting pose with a uh, robe which i show you how to make uh, her arm and sleeve and all the wrinkles in the sleeves all that uh, i show you how to do in this video well here's the segment there where i tell you how to purchase your in streaming video off of vimo this is just a temporary page right now because I haven't created the nine reviews of my current instructional videos uh, yet and that's 
so so this is just a temporary page just to show you an example of what you're going to see when you come to this page there's a link below my daily youtube videos that will take you to this page and here you will see uh, a three all nine videos but i don't have them on here right now because uh, i haven't edited them yet <laughs> or created them yet but uh, there'll be nine videos uh, on this page right in this area here and uh, you'll be able to scroll down the page and and, and review them all um, up here to the right is a drop down menu and will be listed all my videos i just clicked a little arrow down arrow up here and it will be listed all my instructional videos here and uh it will you click on the one you want to purchase let's see if i can do this uh say i want to purchase that one add to cart and it's it's all through paypal and I've got two videos that I've got listed here already on my uh, PayPal pre-order. And uh, up here in the upper right, there is a continue shopping. And I can drop down the menu and click on another video, add to cart. And automatically you got the uh, third choice I've already made two choices and now I got a third choice and then once you get that done you click on the PayPal uh, button to continue uh, to the uh, checkout that's how you purchase my videos as soon as I as soon as I receive notification from PayPal that you've uh, purchased a video I put together a uh, email to you with the link or the, with the title of the uh, video as well as the link to the Vimo video copy of it and the password. Now, I also uh, inform you up here, keep this email I send you t or print it out so you'll always have the link and the password for the video you purchased. You can watch it on Vimo as often as you want, as long as you have this. Thank you so much for your purchase. Of course, if you lose the email, you can always contact me and I can replace it. But it, uh, the, the receipt for your purchase is here and um, the link to the video, like I just told you, is right there. And um, it's very easy. You just click on that link and then it'll ask you for the password before you can start watching the video. And it's just so simple. And as soon as I get to, it, or I can, I see the, that you purchased something, uh, I get the video out to you and you have it within seconds. It is so much easier than the old way that I did it by DVD, which I can't do anymore. All right. That's how you purchase and how you receive your instructional videos or video. Well, that's it. And I hope this has been helpful to you in making your decision. But wait, I have a great deal for you. And it's listed in the uh, list of videos that you can order. The deal is, if you order all nine, you get three unlisted videos that are great videos. I just don't have room on PayPal to list them, so I have to keep them in reserve. But if you order all nine of my videos at one time, you get three extra videos that are unlisted. Great videos. And uh, I think you'd really enjoy them. And they're free. The three, not the nine. <laughs> All right, that's uh, going to be it. Uh, I'm glad you watched uh, this video, and I hope you found it interesting. Good day, everybody.